Hey, what's going on YouTube? So it's Nathan back here with another one as always. So I'm back here showing you how to expand your storage on your Amazon Fire Stick. It's pretty straightforward. All you need is an OTG cable. In case you're wondering what type of cable this is, this is a OTG cable. It's a micro, in short, it's a micro USB adapter. Um, it allows you to plug a USB drive in or a dongle or any type of uh, USB device into your Amazon Fire Stick and still supply the power to your Fire Stick. And you can also find this cable online anywhere from three to seven dollars on Amazon. That's where I got mine from. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you what this is gonna look like once you do plug it into your Amazon Fire Stick. All right, so you take the micro USB in and then you plug it into your Fire Stick. And then the other end, you wanna use your power cord all right, and we'll take the other end of the cable and plug the power cord into it. All right, so from here, now you have the power cord going into one end of the OTG, and then you have the opposite end going into the other fire stick. So now we have the USB device that we need to plug in. So I just grabbed the random USB drive that I had laying around. And this part is just like plugging in a USB drive into anything else. So you plug your USB drive. I just have one of these laying around. Uh, most people have flash drives, so if you have a flash drive or even an external hard drive that doesn't draw too much power, you can use that as well. And just a quick tip before we plug it into the TV, the USB drive has to be formatted to FAT32. If you're unsure, just click on Properties, and then you'll see the Format option when you plug your USB drive into your computer, and then just select the FAT32 option and you'll be all set. All right, so the next step, all we have to do is plug our fire stick into the back of the TV, and then we'll load the device up. All right, so we got our fire stick loaded up, and I'm going to go ahead and show you how this works. The only thing that we need is uh, one app, but before I get to the app, I want to go ahead and take you to the settings. And then once we're at the settings, we're going to go down to applications. All right, so you want to click on applications, go down to manage installed and then you'll see your internal space. You'll see that your Fire Stick only has five gigs available for this, but if you want to access your USB drive that you just plugged in, I'm gonna go ahead and show you within this app. It's called ES File Explorer. We're gonna go down and we're gonna go ahead and open that app. And when you do open that app, you'll see your USB drive available. Let me show you. All right, so once this opens, you'll see internal storage. And then you'll see on the right hand side, it may say SD card or it may say USB. Okay, so as you're looking at the internal storage and the SD card, you'll see how much space you have. I only have eight gigs on that flash drive that I have plugged in just for the purpose of this video. You make your way to the left. You'll have to use the left hand side of the screen. And as you can see right there, you see the USB and then you see the SD card. You'll click on the USB option. It'll be named uh, something similar to that, USB 1.0 something or 2.0 something, but just know it'll be called USB something, and you'll click on USB and click on that open button there, and then you'll get this screen, and you'll have to allow always, or you can allow once. You'll just be prompted every time you plug it in. So you want to allow always. That way you won't ever get the prompt again, and it'll always you know, be ready to go every time you plug it in. All right, so once you're in here, the next steps are pretty straightforward. Uh, you can ignore that message down below, expect it, unexpected removal. It's still plugged in, it's perfectly fine. Uh, so from here, let's, so let's say for example, you wanna move something from your Amazon Fire Stick to this USB drive. Right now I have it blank. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to the internal storage and then show you how to move something. And once you're in here, everything is saved to download. So just click on the download folder and then file link. This is where majority of your apps will come from. And then in here, you just long press. So let's long press on cinema just for a test. And then you want to go make your way to the left hand side of the screen. And then you want to make your way down. So that's the only way you can get to this bottom bar here. And then you want to cut it. You can copy as well, but we just want to cut it so I can show you a full move. Then you go down on the left hand side and click on USB. And then you want to open. And then you'll have to click on extra USB. And j just keep in mind, your folder may or may not be named the same thing. And once you've clicked on extra USB, you'll then be able to paste it in this section. So make your way to the left hand side, go down and then to the right, to the bottom of the screen, click on paste. You'll see your file transfer and it should say successfully. 
and then from here you should have Cinema HD now officially on your USB drive. So now if we go back to the internal storage and then go back in that same folder, download, file linked, you'll then see in here Cinema is no longer there because we moved it from there and just because you move it from here it doesn't remove it from your Amazon Fire Stick. You still have Cinema on your device, you're just moving the actual install file that you never even see on the back end. So these files, unless you want to save them, you can always delete them as well. Alright, so I want to show you another quick feature. So let's say if you have items already preloaded onto your USB device or external hard drive, you would basically just click on the USB drive within here. It'll also read those files as well. So I went ahead and tested it out and uploaded some pictures and video to my USB drive. So when I open and click on the extra USB here, you should see some files. These are the thumbnails that I have for my videos on YouTube. So I added those onto this drive just to see if it'll read. And then when I click on it, it does pull up just fine. And then also videos, it also plays them, plays a video just fine as if it was playing from the Amazon Fire Stick, which it is, but it's kind of like an external device playing from that. So it plays just fine. The image quality is perfectly full screen. So that's pretty cool. So if you had any images on your phone or videos on your phone that you want to transfer over onto the USB plug it in here and you can watch it straight from your fire stick and when you click on videos just click on ES media player have it play from there this is playing my intro for my uh, YouTube videos so that's nice plays full screen perfect good quality also another thing you can do with this say for instance you got a USB drive with a bunch of APK files on it like movie files uh, like your favorite movie files like cinema it's a .apk file you can transfer those back to the internal storage and install them back onto the device so let me show you that okay so right now I'm on the left hand side of the screen and then if I just start hitting my down arrow and then go to the internal storage or make my way over to the right hand side since my USB drive is already open to go right and then hover over Cinema HD and once you're hovered over Cinema HD you just long press on your remote for about two seconds it'll give you options and then from here you make your way over to the left hand side of the screen go all the way down go, go to the right and cut once again and then you go over to the internal storage on the left hand side all right and then you make your way back to the downloads folder and then file linked and then we want to drop it in here so go to the left again and then make your way down and then go right to paste and click on paste and it'll add itself back in there it'll do a successful transfer and then you're all set so you can transfer to your USB drive and you can transfer back to the internal storage when the time comes and say for instance your uh, so you plugged your USB you transferred your files all you have to do from here now in case you don't have an internet connection wherever you are you have the file the APK file you just click on the cinema or any one of these that you have just transferred and then you can run it and install it on your device so if I click on cinema here and then it'll give you these three options click on install and then same thing that you're familiar with bottom right hand corner click on install you know install the app just fine and then it'll show up in your apps on your Amazon Fire Stick and then from here you can open it or you can click done but for the sake of this video I click done but that's about it those are the things that you can do with this if you decide to expand the storage or if you can if you are curious on how that would work alright so I'm back on the home screen of the Amazon Fire Stick I'm going to go ahead and show you how to install the ES File Explorer if you wanted it the first option is you can hold down the Alexa button and speak the ES File Explorer and the first app should come up it should say ES File Explorer that's one way you can do it you can go back to the home screen and use the magnifying glass if you want to physically type it out and just type in ES space file explorer and then it should auto populate even when you just put in ES and I'll spell it out a little more ES space file and then you'll just go down if you don't want to fully type it out and just click on the second option ES File Explorer and then once it does load up the apps and games you'll see ES, ES File Explorer right there the first app with the folder that says ES in the cloud and then from here all you have to do is click download and then allow it to download and then install on your Amazon Fire Stick 
should take anywhere from about 30 seconds to a minute. So go ahead and allow that to install. And then once you see the open button, just go ahead and click on open for the first time. And once it does open for the first time, you'll have to agree to the storage permissions. That's perfectly fine. So just click on that agree button and then you'll have to hit allow on this button. And then from here, you're advanced into the ES file explorer. And also for this cable here, you would just get it from Amazon. I'll leave it down in this, the description below. There's also a multi adapter. So in, instead of the one that I have, they sell four port, three port and two ports. Um, and I'll link those in the description below in case you're interested. But you can also use USB drives, USB to Ethernet. You can do a bunch of things with this. Um, so I'm just showing you one thing that you can do with this because someone requested it in the comments. I'm going to leave him up right there. If you have any questions or comments or videos that you want me to do, leave it down below and I'll post your comment in the video to let you know that I did a video for that. But that's all I got for you today. Give it a like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace. I remember when Plus first told me take a peek in the shoebox. Introduced me to them bands, hit me to the plan. Now I'm making moves. He had a desi drip, switching phone whips. Let the work do the work for me. Only call it hustle if your profit doubles. Otherwise, you would work a beat. Leave the rest up in God's hands. Wise words from a wise man. Can you tell the time turning 25 in the five bands? Nigga, I can. Then that five started jumping for the 10, and that 10 turned to 20. And everything that I want is paid for. It's the life I was made for.